bite of sandwich before we get to welcome more announcements. I just want to read a little something. You know I'm in favor of the upper room, large print, <laughs> and um, new year, new page. Read it and I thought, that's pretty good. It says here, as we begin a new year, it can be helpful to pause and refresh ourselves on the basics of our Christian faith. At its core, the good news of Jesus is that he is the new Moses who leads us out of exile into the life of God's new age. Jesus is also the once for all sacrifice, suffering, servant, and lamb that has been lifted up and is now seated in the throne of God. Jesus is the living embodiment of hope and healing for the broken human family. In a world that needs tangible reminders of God's love, let us be bold in demonstrating the love modeled by Jesus, who was willing to be lifted up, broken, and poured out for the restoration of the world. Remember, he even gave his life for those who betrayed him. The hardest commands of Jesus to put into practice are those that call us to love our neighbor, to love our enemies, and to love ourselves. This year, may we call upon the Holy Spirit to give us eyes to see others and ourselves as God sees us, worthy of transformational grace and love because of Jesus' ongoing shepherding intercession for us. Something to ponder over the next year. Do we have any announcements today for the good of the church? Yes, ma'am. Come out of hiding here. Uh, just in case you didn't see uh, Pastor Dick's reminder, please take your poinsettias today at the church if you are some of the people who have donated them for the good of the church. Thank you.
with us. Thanks be to you, O God, for your continual presence with us. We are now beginning a new year. It is only the second day. We don't know what this year will hold for us as individuals or as a community of faith. But we do know we can rely on your guidance, healing, comfort, peace, and rejoicing with us. Thank you, O Lord, for your steadfast, eternal love and presence.